So, welcome to another episode of, and we're going to use this time to um, make an announcement. So now, instead of This Is America, we're going to officially be called Chat It. So, to all of our listeners, our subscribers, everybody who's downloading on any streaming platform that you've got right now, um, Am- Apple Music, Amazon, Google Play, Samsung Video, I saw y'all last time, um, or YouTube, whatever, is now going to be branded as Chat It. So... Who do we have here? What's up? Well, I go by RPG Moore. RPG Moore? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, okay. I nice to meet music. you. You say what? I make music. Okay. I We're like going to elaborate on that. What's up? What's up? So basically, I take like regular beats. Well, not like regular beats, like New York drill and like stunner type shit. And uh, like, I like yell on the beat. Okay. Okay. What's <laughs> <laughs> up? No, this shit not fair. Play no games, no shit for fair. What's up? What's up? We fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So, my name is Ty, aka Sweet Ty. I make music. At this rate, I've made a song a year, so but we're trying to speed it up. But a song a year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I told, I told this man he's bullshitting. Like, yeah. This man, this man's really talented. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, but we be uh, we be trying to create this shit. Mm. Got our boy CJ over there in the cut. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so y'all can't see him for everybody who's watching YouTube right now, but we got another person off camera right now. What's the name? What's the name, man? I go by B1G, BNK, Big Bang. Hey. There we go. There we go. All right, any handles? Any handles before we uh, start plugging this in? What's up? I want a rocket launcher. <laughs> A rocket launcher. I want a rocket launcher. Okay, we can talk about that in a second. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> my Instagram is RPG Mar. Okay, RPG Mar, spelled exactly like that. Yeah. All right, you can add me at Slummy Sue. Slummy and T S U. Okay. Yeah, that's my IG. Okay, for sure, for sure. I already said it. B one G B A K. Go on, hit that follow. I might share all that. There we go. There we go. All right, so so you know who's already talking, Makaru. Um, follow us at Disartist on all platforms. And yeah, so we got a man, RPG Mar, and he wants a rocket launcher. So um, hopefully it doesn't raise any two eyebrows with too many people. Um, but yeah, what's up? <laughs> what's up with the rocket launcher, man? Rocket launcher. I feel like it's like the most explosive weapon. Like nobody. What are you gonna do if somebody has a rocket launcher? I mean, like, okay, that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. I fuck with it. What are you gonna do? What am I gonna do if somebody has a rocket launcher? I mean, I'm definitely gonna run sideways. You know, like, <laughs> what if I just aim it at the street and like you like fly up as there? You're right. You're right. You're right. I mean, you really can't do much with that. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly why they make it illegal to have it. <laughs> it's a good question, Rick, because I keep asking this guy, "What are you gonna do when you get one?" Mm. Mm. Your goal is to get a rocket launcher. What, what, what happens when you get one? That's facts. You're going to be labeled just, terrorist. <laughs> no, no, no. I just want to go to like an open field and like just shoot that bitch. Just shoot the field. There's a lot of these around North Carolina. That's facts. If y'all don't know, we in North Carolina right now, y'all. <laughs> but, okay, open field and shoot your rocket launcher. Yeah, hell yeah. That's You're going to buy every single... Because you, you know it's only like a one. It's a one and done. You know what I'm saying? So you got to buy each... Yeah, what is it like yeah. grenade launch whatever yeah yeah damn, rocket uh, yeah. yeah rocket you gotta be get a body's rocket yeah hell yeah okay but there's like there's like two different types of rocket launchers i want the at4 and the rpg7 okay oh, shit. so this man be researching his rocket launcher yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right all right the government is on him um <laughs> <laughs> but hey, but hey, I cu- I encourage it, man. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So anything else other than a rocket launcher? Um, shit. Um, maybe a few grenades. A few grenades. A few grenades. You sound destructive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> grenades. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, what got you into this whole, I guess, like aesthetic of wanting to get explosives? Playing like video games and shit. Okay. Like. When you play Call of Duty and you got a rocket launcher, you just aim that bitch. You're making all of the parents, like, clutch their kids. (laughs) (laughs) They're going to ban Call of Duty after this. I mean, it is what it is. They ban Call of Duty, they ban Call of Duty. And on GTA, I like using the rocket launcher. I just go around just blowing up random shit. Okay. Okay. (laughs) 
this motherfucker is crazy. But I would never actually harm somebody in real life. That's, that's <laughs> for sure, for sure. We would, we would hope not. Okay, I don't know what. Uh, going on down there, you know. The Taliban? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You <laughs> what know, the fuck so was that? It, it, it gets a little active over in North Carolina, apparently. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> <laughs> that was strange as fuck. With that. <laughs> so, both y'all do music, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's up with that? What are we? What's the goal? How do we get here? Um, I just randomly started like during Corona. I was okay. in the house bored every day, smoking with C. But yeah, I was just randomly freestyling high. And then he was like, you should start rapping. So I met my man, Zerani. He does music. He goes by Pixie. I met him. And then we recorded like a song off a garage band on the iPad. And then that's how I made my first song. Okay. That's what's up. I just kept going from there. Off an iPad? Yeah. It's really crazy though, man. <laughs> right? Like, right. But he would make it sound like studio quality. Like really? Songs. So yeah. he was the engineer? Yeah. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah, he's nice with that type of shit. Okay. He, does, he doesn't do that no more. He got like a, his, his own home studio and shit. So he doesn't do engineering anymore? No, he does. He does. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Okay, so that's who like does your, your songs and stuff like that? Uh, I go to um, somebody in Greenville to uh, like go to the studio. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So it's the same for you, Ty. Not the same, but my shit's a little different. Like, I've been writing music since I was like 19. Okay. It started with like poems and shit, and then like it just translated into like song. Uh huh. Started okay. Started actually recording and all that stuff, and then it came a point in time where I was like, "This is like I'm good at this." Mm -hmm. And then you start freestyling, and so I just started doing that over and over again. Uh -huh. And then you just get good at it, and then you just start hopping on beat. Right now, though, I've only had, like, a song a year. Mm -hmm. And, like, what I'm trying to do is do, like, a whole decade of making music. So, like, even if something happens, like, I can say, like, I did it. Even if I don't blow up or whatever, I would have 10 years worth of something music. I created. Yeah, for you know sure. What I'm and at this pace, it's slow, but sometimes things need to be pulled back for you to let go and really yeah. take off. Yeah. But... Yeah, I'm on this trajectory of trying to like perfect what I do because I feel like I am good at it, but there is this aspect of like how good can you be? Yeah. You just got to dedicate yourself and become a lot more consistent. Uh -huh. Consistency is where I'm lacking right now. Yeah. But this thing it tells me all the time, yeah. like, you got to fucking just hop in this do more, it's which like I fucking fixed my computer. Okay. So I got a home studio now and niggas can record and all that shit. So we're good. Okay, okay. Yeah, That's what's up. We're cooking up some shit in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. We gotta right. fucking. Right. It's just, it's been a process of me trying to understand like my sound too. Yeah. And then, but now we're perfecting it. So, okay. It's gonna take off. That's what's up. That's what's up. Right. So, how long y'all been doing this? Uh, I've been doing music probably about two years now. Two years? Yeah. Okay. About two years. What about you, Ty? Uh, yeah. Well, I've been writing since I was 19, and I really just made my first real track 2020. Okay. So, Corona. That's, that's crazy. That's huh. crazy. Yeah, that's a long time, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, they haven't even gotten to putting out their first song yet. Yeah. So, just being able to hit that step is important it's in itself, you know? Sure. So, with music, right? What draws y'all to music? Because y'all are artists at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to try to embrace that that um, persona, you feel me? You're an artist. Like, the lifestyle of, like, not having to work, just mm. get up, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Just make a song, that's how you get your bread right there. Yeah. And, like, yeah, you go different places, explore the world and shit. Mm. So, I think that's fire. Okay, got gotcha. you. People knowing the world, still like, all your songs. Yeah. How does it express you? Like, what does your music say about you? My music just, it's random. I just, like I said, all I do is like yell on the beat. Yeah. Hell yeah. But the thing is though, right? We, we, I feel like you're kind of downplaying it because you're saying, you know, I get a beat, you know, I just kind of yell on it and, you know, we just put it out. You feel me? And that's shit. That's how we, that's how we rocking. But at the same time, like those words, those lyrics are still kind of stemming from somewhere. You feel me? Like they're they're coming up for a reason, and there's a reason why you chose to yell on it. You feel me? Instead of like rapping it normally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, 
what made you even think about that? Like, you have a whole aesthetic right now. I, I know some of y'all can't see this, man. But we got, like, a teddy bear right here. Yeah. We got, like, the, the ammo belt, you feel me? So, like, what, what influenced this aesthetic? Well, I went through a lot of shit when I was younger. Okay. And I, I, I just feel weird, like, wearing colored stuff when, like, I don't feel that way. Like, mm. like wearing... I don't know if that makes sense. Like, yeah. Like wearing bright colors when I don't feel bright. Yeah. So when I yell on the beat, I like get out all my frustration doing that. Mm. And that's what makes me yell. On the beat. See, it feels, it's like kind of therapeutic go to studio for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you even talking or even saying like, I don't feel bright, so I'm not gonna wear something bright. Like, that shows how everything that we wear is a reflection of how we feel. You get what I'm saying? And you can wake up one morning and be like, you know what? I feel fucking great. You feel me? So a lot of niggas, they might write, they might put on like a, a I don't know, a bright yellow t-shirt, something along those lines. You feel me? Some type of shit like that, whatever. Yeah. But whenever you see or whenever you feel just down, you get what I'm saying? Or you just don't feel all hype or whatever whatever in the jolly sense that other people might see yeah. then you don't feel like wearing that type of shit you get what i'm saying yeah. because it's a reflection of you it's a reflection of your mindset you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i fuck with that i fuck with that oh yeah let's say he, he said he needs to get sponsored by hot topic so yeah, hot I topic would. could fucking sponsor this man okay we need to get him some fucking t-shirt something okay something okay. to fucking you, promote I go to hot topic like every single week <laughs> wow. I go to every consistent like, What's up I with Hot Topic? Hot Topic just has all the, like, good stuff. Like, you can't find it anywhere else. Okay. But Hot Topic. Okay. And, like, like I go in their jeans right now. They're pretty fire. Okay, I shout got, out Hot Topic. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of this stuff from Hot Topic. Like, that's basically all I wear. Right now, I'm wearing <laughs> my man's, uh, he makes beats. These beats. Okay. Yeah, uh, he got his own clothing brand shit, Never Fold. Never Fold. Yeah. All like, right, cool. We're going to put that in, man. Never Fold. Bro, I need to make hoodies, man. If you can make hoodies, we need those. Okay. Yeah, for sure, Mark. You need one, too. I need a, I need a hoodie. Yes. All right, These all right, designs so. are crazy. Really? Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. Slide me a hoodie. What's up? What's up? I'll wrap it. I'll brand it. It's fire. Yeah, yeah. For sure. All right, for sure, man. And see, that's... Honestly, that shows just that just that um, situation right there, right? That yeah. shows network. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of people out there right now who are trying to be creatives. You feel me? Trying to make their mark on the world, trying to push their, their mind out there because everything that you wear, like I said before, is a reflection of your mind. And if you want to push something out um, that is the accumulation of your mentality, just like how you feel, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And to see somebody else buy that, to see somebody else consume that or listen to it and know the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of that makes you feel good. It makes you feel supported. Yeah. Especially in a time nowadays where, like, so many people don't feel supported. Right. You feel me? So, I think that might have something to do with why there are so many creators right now. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, it's easy to say, yeah, like, I feel X, Y, and Z. A lot of people aren't going to get that shit. Right. But... If you can scream on a beat, you know what I'm saying? You're going to feel my emotion. You yeah. feel me? And the people who are relating to how I feel, they're also going to love that shit. You know, be like, yo, somebody else feels what I feel. Mm -hmm. Or like the hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If even though I might not have the talent to make a hoodie, this might reflect how I personally feel. This is a black baby with some, with some what is it, chair rings on it, chair sure. wings on it some shades and a whole bunch of stacks of money personally i love tattoos stacks of money and <laughs> angels so like <laughs> yeah the world is yours you yeah. know what i'm saying never fold never fold like that's how somebody feels you feel me yeah. and you had the the artistic talent to be able to put that out there because i personally relate to it i'm gonna grab that shit too because my whole thing is like don't fold you get what I'm saying? Right. Keep on going with that shit. So the the importance of creators nowadays, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So even if y'all don't like break out or whatever, like what you was talking about with Ty, yeah. like even if y'all don't break out, you've touched a whole bunch of people. You feel me? Even if it's only 10 people, you touch yeah. 10 people that haven't known your shit before. Mm -hmm. You right. feel me? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But 
Anyways, 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 I'm getting on a fucking rant. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We moving on from artistry and everything like that, right? All right. Um, what's your goals? Like, what what is? Tell me, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years from now. Shit, I'm five honest. years from now. Yeah, that's that's a little bit crazy, I'm right? Be old as fuck. Yeah. Damn. How old are you, Todd? 24 24? Yeah, it's Nigga, awesome. I'm 24 right now You trying to say I'm old? We gonna be old <laughs> Damn Five years from now Niggas gonna be old Fuck Damn, I think we be 30 Oh man, I'm gonna be a little bit bald You gonna be a little bit bald? Yeah, I can feel it Just stress over life See, why are we stressing? This man is stressing so much He's going bald I am <laughs> like, uh, I think it's more so like uh, I don't know Life is It's crazy Life is crazy. It is. It is, for sure. But today's a nice day. It is. It is. It's a little windy, but hey, like, I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Got a good breeze going and everything. Like, I like it. I like it. Yes, but we moving on from the from the five-year goal. What, what happened? Oh, so, my <laughs> goals, I'm trying to be famous enough that I can network more. I think that's more my goal right now. Okay. I need to be, I can talk to anybody. Okay. That's not a problem. It's more so just getting that opportunity to even shake your hand. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I need to open up those types of doors. Just like anything, you gotta chase the bread. You yeah. Know? So that's not for those over the next five years. For sure. For Chasing real. the bread, getting in them high places. Yeah. Okay. But shit, probably me. I want to be able to make money without even moving. Make money without moving. Yeah. So like in your sleep. Like yeah. Yeah. Any time of the day, like I just check my phone, that shit's just going up. Gotcha. But I don't know how I'm gonna do that shit yet. But I'm trying to. I mean, it's passive income, right? Yeah. But that goes back to you being a creative and like putting stuff out there. Yeah. You keep on putting. I told somebody this yesterday. With anything, but we're gonna use the example of music. Mm -hmm. Every song you put out is an investment. You get what I'm saying? Every song has the potential to go crazy. Every song will eventually earn you money. Mm -hmm. You feel me? The more that people listen to it, et cetera, et cetera, the more money you're gonna get. And so if you put out a song every month, right? It's 12 songs, right? But instead of looking at it because, let's say, you might not be getting that many streams, et cetera, et cetera, and you're like, damn, like, this is, I'm getting like maybe 20 cents per song, you feel me? Yeah. Instead, like, look at the fact that for the entirety of your whole life, this is your song. You feel me? For the entirety of your life, people will end up finding your song. And so for 80, 70 years, whatever, you have the potential for your song to garner however many plays as it possibly can. You feel me? Yeah. And because you own the rights to that song, you will, for the entirety of your life, get the money for that song. Hell you feel yeah. me? Each thing is an investment for you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Oh, so yeah. just like somebody has stocks or crypto or whatever, whatever, this is the same fucking thing. You feel Best me? So you when you're talking about like passive income and like getting money while you sleep, you already doing that shit, nigga. <laughs> 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 you feel me? It's just not big enough for you to notice it right now. Right. But like in the moment, because how old are you? Uh, I just turned 21 maybe like three weeks ago. All right, so nigga, you turned 21 three weeks ago, right? Yeah. For anybody who fucks with this nigga, he just turned 21 three weeks ago. Turns but like, I could buy alcohol now. See, there we go, there we go. But you've put out how many songs? Probably about, probably about 14 if I had to guess. 14. Probably so, about like eight videos. 14 songs, eight videos. Yeah. That's at least one for the for YouTube, right? Yeah. And then you got 14 for how many different streaming platforms? Uh, All of them? Well, mostly I just use SoundCloud, but when I drop videos, like, I add the song to Apple Music, too. Got you. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, this is at least, mm, let's see, four times. Three, 12, three, one, five. Mm, we're looking at maybe, like, 52 chances. You know, Shoot, probably Shit, something like that. Yeah. You feel me? So that that's if you just stay with your fourteen, you got fifty-two instances of your songs. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Over the course of your life, you're twenty-one. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You have so much fucking life to live. Like that's that's something to be proud of, man. That somebody had to have a conversation with me about that. 
Yeah. Where they were like, yo, like, just stop and look at what you're doing. And look how far advanced you're over somebody else who, like, wants to do something like this, but can't. Yeah. You feel me? Not because of anything, but just because they just can't, you know? Yeah. It's a fucking blessing, bro. Right. You feel me? <laughs> Yeah, we just gotta be consistent, man. You said trying to be consistent. I gotta be yeah, consistent. Yeah, you definitely gotta be consistent. Oh, yeah. The course, I think the more you do something, the better you get. For sure. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Repetition. I just gotta keep doing that shit over and over again. So, Repetition is key, man. You know? I'm telling you, I can't even uh, freestyle, but this man be playing out some fire ass freestyles. Like okay, so what the fuck? Shit. <laughs> yeah, like this man, I'd be telling this man hit the studio, record songs, drop shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I tell bullshitting all my friends to do that, but they still don't listen to me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Consistency is fucking key. Yeah. To anything in life. Mm. You feel me? Because anything that you want to get, somebody will recognize because you're being consistent. Anything, let's say you, let's say you really are like fucking with a shawty, right? And you're like, damn, she's so fucking bad. You feel me? I don't know how I could get with her, but like, I just want to get with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You obviously got to have the requirements to meet the shawty. But regardless, once you meet those requirements, consistency is key. And you'll be able to show her, hey, yo, like I'm really serious about you, whatever, whatever. By showing that consistency. You feel me? Yeah. Same thing with a job, whatever, whatever. Anything that you want in life, you can get that shit. You just got to keep doing it. So, like, everybody else who are just mad famous or, like, has a whole lot of money, billionaires, millionaires, et cetera, et cetera, people who are getting that passive income, they yeah. did shit to the point where they've been obsessed with it. But, and people call it obsessing, but only because they're so fucking consistent with it to where they're blocking out everything else. Yeah. You can call something obsessing all you want. Am I getting money or not? Right. It's the simple things in life that show you how to live life. That's true. You yeah. feel me? Oh, yeah. Like, what's up, then, Ty? I don't know, bro. I think over the next few months, y'all should, y'all should see something. For real, for real. Okay. I fixed my damn computer, and that's the thing that was, I think, hindering me. I almost threw that shit away, like, three times. What? Because it's, like, old, but, like, it also has a lot of capability. Okay. So I was like, fuck, let me just keep it. Yeah. I almost sold it a few times. I almost threw it away. And then I figured out what was wrong. And I'll plug up my mics and all that stuff. Yeah. I can record. But I think for the longest, I just was trying to figure out what the hell I wanted to do. Yeah. For, but now we're about to go crazy. Okay. For sure. Definitely about to go crazy. For sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so, year 21. Yeah. How did you figure out what you wanted to do with your life? Um, do I still you don't even know. know? I still don't know. Got you. <laughs> I still don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting by, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Got you, got you. Do you think it's harder to get by nowadays? For me, it's not. Got you. <laughs> Why you say that? Because, like, I know how to budget different mm -hmm. shit like that. Like... It's honestly not hard if you stay, like, stay in a pattern. Mm. Got you, got you. So, you say it's not hard. That's not normal, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just because a lot of people, um, it's easy to struggle nowadays, you know? Yeah. Shit is going up, rent is going up, groceries are going up, et cetera, et cetera. Like, we're, we're starting this recession off, you feel me? And especially when they don't teach financial literacy, yeah. It's hard to just have that knowledge of, yeah, I'm a budget. You get what I'm saying? Or like, yeah, like I'm going to spend X, Y, Z for food or whatever, whatever. Like I'm going to be good. And you kind of just cruising, you know what I'm saying? Until you kind of really figure out how you feel about life or where you want to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, where did that kind of come from? Um, basically from experiences growing up, like my parents were struggling basically the whole time I was younger. So like... I just said I'm not going to go through that same shit, so I just got my shit, and mm. I okay. set that up for myself. Gotcha, gotcha. So when did you leave? Uh, I left when I was 18. Okay. Left my dad's house. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So your parents were separated? Yeah, they got back together, separated multiple times, but they're finally separated now. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 
Have you wondered how your parents have kind of influenced your way of like looking at relationships? I just um, basically I told myself I was not gonna be like them mm. at all because mm. like that shit they were they were terrible. I'm not gonna lie, they were terrible. Mm. Like it was getting to a point where like I didn't care if my parents divorced or stayed together. Yeah. So like when they split up, I was actually kind of glad because I'm like I don't gotta go through this bullshit no more. Really? Yeah. See, that's crazy though, man. Like it's a little sad because. One, a child, and I, I'm not calling you a child right now. Yeah. But a child should never have to go through a situation to where it's like, yo, my parents were terrible. Yeah. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Because while that did um, kind of harden you to be able to experience the world and go through the world kind of fine, like you seem kind of fine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you seem ready to be able to deal with life and et cetera, et cetera. You had to go through a lot of shit in order to come to that conclusion and yeah. come to that mindset you feel me at a young age because i mean we're still all of us here relatively young you feel me so in my opinion when looking at how other people live right and it's always haves and have nots right and looking at how other people live it's there's a stark difference sometimes when you look at the readiness of a person to take on the world you feel me? Yeah. And be like, yeah, I, can, I got this. I know what to do, or I'll figure it out. You feel me? I don't need to call my parents. I don't think my parents are going to answer. You get what I'm saying? Um, but I got this. That's a lot of responsibility on somebody. You feel me? Yeah. Especially at young ages. Young the fuck ages. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But, okay, so, Ty, because I'm not forgetting about you. Not you yet, Honestly. <laughs> But how does you feel when it comes to how you approach the world right now? How you look at the world? I approach the world super cautiously, super stealthy. I go about things so... Super stealthy? Yes. Okay. Like Hitman. Okay. I think that's why I got a shaved head right now. That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> but uh, honestly, like I go about things so tiptoe, mm. if that makes sense. So that's my approach to life right now. I just feel like the world is fucked up. It really Facts. is. Facts. There's a lot of bullshit going on. And we just gotta navigate it the best way we can. Yeah. And the best way to do that is on the hush. On the and hush, on the low. Keep your head down and just keep going. Yeah. Through. Keep yeah. your head down, man. That's a fucking statement. Right. You know? The more you move accordingly, so like my life right now, I have to keep my head down. Why? Like, because that's how you move like a shark. You know okay. If your fin is above water, they know you're coming. Mm. That element mm. of surprise is out of the way. Okay. So you keep your head down. Okay. And you move. That element of surprise, whether it's sometimes destructive. Yeah. Or sometimes great and fairy tale like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's that element of surprise because your head is down. So I don't know. I think that's how I've been moving. It's just trying to piece everything together under the surface. Gotcha. Damn. That's... I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never heard that analogy before. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. <laughs> nah, for real though, like a shark, like, that's why they see a shark because the fin is above the water. Yeah. But they're, the shark never breached. You wouldn't know it was there. So do you want to be a shark? I don't know. I think I used to be one in a past life. In a past life? Yeah. Okay. I think I was so nomadic and just out there in the water. Mm. So why, like, what makes you kind of take on those characteristics now? Because, like, even though... You I feel like I look like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> in the face, bro. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, bro. Either that or a fucking pit bull. A pit bull. Yeah. You know pit bulls are actually um, banned in, I think, 13 or 20 countries. For what? What the fuck? Because they're labeled as aggressive animals. Shit. There's a bunch of cool damn aggressive shit. animals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's crazy, though, isn't it? Yeah. Bro, would you ban a child because he was bad? Schools do. That's what you call That's suspension. That's what I'm saying. It's all about raising. <laughs> it's all about how you raise something. Right. Like, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. 
I know some pit bulls that are fucking nicer than a human, the like actual dude. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real, the nigga pit bull. <laughs> Dale, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? That yeah. Dude. Yeah. But anyway. I mean. I don't know where we, what are you doing on crazy tangent this time? Bro, that's the whole point of this show. That's why we're moving to chat it, we're y'all. Chatted. That's why we're that's moving cool. to fucking chat it. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I mean, bro, like, that goes to anything. It's how you're raised. Yeah. yeah. You know, which goes back to the uh, original point that we were talking about. Yeah. One, life moves in cycles. So regardless of whatever we're talking about, I promise you it's probably going to, te- like, relate to something that we previously talked about. Mm, yeah. Regardless, it's it's how you're raised. And, and whenever you are raised in a particular environment, like we were saying, it hardens you, yes, but it also prepares you. Now, there was this analogy one time when it was uh, somebody said that hard times make soft men, right? And so, no, hmm. hard times make hard men. Easy times make soft men. And so, even though we're in a state of like, for the most part, uh, peace, right? your actual environment your personal environment if that is hard that makes for strong men you know yeah. and i don't know like i wish we could find a, a balance because you shouldn't have to go through the fucking shit to be prepared yeah you feel me right you shouldn't have to go through a fucked up childhood to be a shark because at the end of the day a lot of sharks move alone that's true and that's one thing i'm dealing with right now I'll be feeling like very nomadic. I'm mm-hmm. in a very singular life. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm like one of the last of my lineage. Like, I don't have a big family. So, like, I don't have kids. Like, my last name dies and all that stuff. There's, do you like, want kids? Crazy ass- yeah, I kind of have to have them. Why do you feel like you have to? You don't you have, have to jump do anything. Start a generation. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, you're one of the last heirs. You kind of have to. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But also, I don't know. Whoever I have kids, she gonna have to replace my 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 Gigi, my great grandmother. Okay. That's some shoes to fill, cause I'm gonna be great grandpa. So. Okay. You gonna have to be great grandma, and I got time. You got time. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So what's you okay? How do you feel then? Like I feel like that's uh that's pretty big expectations for somebody. That is, but shit, she gonna have to convince me to marry her. She had to convince you to marry her. Yeah, it gotta be undeniable, right? <laughs> probably. For real. You said probably. Probably. <laughs> Shit. God gonna have to speak to me auditorially. Like you supposed to be with Keisha. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed yeah. to see it in a dream. Okay. And I'm not not supposed to think twice about it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How's been your your journey with that? How's what? both of y'all's journey with that? Journey with what? Like uh Finding a person that you actually fuck with. Shoot. Shit, that's easy. It's for how long? See, okay, so that's toxic. <laughs> that's toxic. <laughs> Am I right though? <laughs> Talking about for how long? I don't know. I don't Shit. know. I don't know. I mean, I feel like. Come on, Mark. How, what's the longest relationship you ever been in? Seven years. Damn. Shit. Never mind. <laughs> Shit. I can't. Damn. 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 All right. Yeah. Well, for me. <laughs> It's very a year here, a year there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And you get just close enough to know somebody so well that you don't know them no more. They become a stranger. Really? So it's like, how far? You know what I'm saying? For how long? I don't know. I mean, I feel like if you end up, and you can touch on this if you want to, RPG Mark. Um, but I feel like if you start knowing a person for a long period of time, and all of a sudden, they're not the person that you originally started knowing or getting to know. Then that person was capping the whole time. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, you didn't need to be with that person. Like, you know what I'm saying? So instead of that being a, I don't know, an indicator of like relationships are only a time sensitive thing. Yeah. It's really a thing of how do I discern who's capping and who's not? Right. But sometimes that's bad though. We got to realize we be- 
Sometimes men do be ignoring red flags. Red flags. You be ignoring the red flags. <laughs> 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 you be ignoring the red flags. I don't know, man. Nowadays, it's different color flags. <laughs> yeah, it be different color flags. <laughs> like is that a pink flag like what does that mean you know what i'm saying girl waving a pink flag i don't even know how to feel i mean it's too much red in it i'm a, just oh so it's too much red you yeah it's too much clear. red I'm, I'm going i'm going you know yeah, what i'm saying bro. like it's dyed you feel me it's a little bit faded i can't fuck with that <laughs> <laughs> hey that's funny these girls out here it's hard to choose it's hard to choose it is. i mean it's hard to choose with anybody i you think know? you should just stay to yourself Focus on the bread. Focus on the bread. And you'll Focus. attract what you what yeah, you need. Yeah, like, eventually somebody will come along. People will be saying that. Okay. But, so but it's not lonely. So, yeah. no. Isn't that fucking lonely? No, it's not. It's not? No. Okay. Dude. Okay. Why do you say that? Because, like, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want, like, however you want. <laughs> okay. That's true. But, and I'm going to be the devil's advocate on this one, right? Uh, yeah. So... Yes, you could do whatever you want, whenever you want. You don't have anybody to say, hey, don't do this. Hey, I don't like that you're doing this. Hey, I don't like that you're hanging out with this person. Right? Yeah. Cool. I get that because there's a lot of stress for sure. Yeah. At the same time, whenever you reach an understanding with a person, right, wouldn't that feel nice to have a person who consistently said, let's do this? You know what I'm saying? Or you say, hey, I want to go... I don't know what's so random shit. I want to go skydiving, right? I definitely want to go skydiving. Okay, for sure. We hit a mark. All right. So I want to go skydiving, right? Yeah. And instead of you going alone and experiencing that experience yourself, you had a person who said, okay, I want to go skydiving with you. Maybe not because I thought that I was going to go skydiving, but because you want to and I'm here to support you, let's do it together. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that camaraderie because humans are are, are um, social, creatures. social creatures we need community right yeah and so yeah you can have your niggas for so for so but at the same time i think that it would feel nice to be loved genuinely for you and the stuff that you want to do in your mind and your passion or whatever that you want to do you get what i'm saying you feel me that's true but is it out here, Merck? Is it out here? Yes, it's out. It's out here. It's out here somewhere. Out here where? <laughs> <laughs> he said somewhere. We try to find it. <laughs> well, because I mean, look, like, what do women say all the time? They say, it's 8 billion people in the world. You can find a man. So it's, it's 8 girls billion. Too. For sure. So yeah. it's 8 billion people in the world. You can find Smart a women. person who loves you for you. Especially with people who have gone through a fucked up childhood. Yeah. Because you've already been deprived of love for so long. Oh, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, whenever you get that love that you actually, like, is, is genuine, it's like, damn. Damn, that shit feel nice. You feel oh, me? As long as you don't fuck it up. As long as you don't fuck it up. Theoretically, it should be straight. It should be smooth sailing. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Niggas do fuck up. Not me. It's like, no, I'm scared. He said, not me. He said, not me. Huh. I mean, everybody fucks up. Everybody, you feel me? Because we we have to we have to start moving it away from like genders. You get what I'm saying? Because people are people. You feel me? Everybody does have morals. You're right. You're right. That's why you have to find somebody whose morals align with yours. You can't try to find somebody and then try to change them. Because at that point, you're changing them from how they normally are. How is that gonna work? True. How's that gonna work? You feel me? Yeah. You have to find somebody who's already on that same type of wave because if you are, let's just say, let's just take it to music because I fuck with music. If you're on a frequency, right, and your frequency is already in a certain in a certain uh, up and down system, then if you try to put in another person and their like up and down system is in the ones like their ups is in when you're down, it's not gonna work. That's dissonance. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So now yeah. you're trying to hang on to somebody because you fuck with how they look or you fuck with how we have sex. But, like, in reality, your mindsets are dissonance. Yeah. And so because of that, you're going to run into, ah, oh, damn, like, Shardy was cheating. Or, ah, oh, damn, I'm really fucking with old girl. You get what I'm saying? And even though I got my girl, like, I really fuck with Shardy, et cetera, et cetera, because Shardy doing X, Y, Z. And 
my girl ain't really doing X, Y, Z. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you just found somebody who matched your up and downs, you wouldn't even have this problem. That's true. Yeah. It's, try, it's hard to find somebody on the same frequency. It's facts. I think... Very hard. I think the key, though, that we really got to start... Somebody told me this. Mm. Like, it's like a Venn diagram, okay. right? So, like, you're you, and your counterpart is the other circle. Okay. And, like, you got to overlap to where slowly, day by day, through knowing somebody, you become one circle. Like it? Yeah. Like and it. So, it's like all the things that you thought you had in common at first when you first meet somebody mm. grows exponentially. Or, or is that the word? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exponentially. Uh, as you get closer, and yeah. then you become one circle. But that's the hard part is finding that frequency, like you said, of somebody that's... Yeah. Because what if I'm just flatline right now? I ain't even... You feel me? That's why and somebody has to be there to pick be, you up. I feel you. You feel me? If, a, if somebody... Because like I said, we're going to move away from genders. That's right? True. If somebody is flatline and they partner is like, Oh, uh, no, nah, like, I don't like how you being right now. The fuck is you doing help me? <laughs> like you're not helping me at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? At anything, you're making me more flatline. Like I'm trying to raise. I am trying to raise myself up, but fuck, it's hard right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, as my partner, can't help me, like at least get back to how I normally am, then damn, are we really good for each other? Do you really fuck with me, or are you really like concerned about yourself and how I make you feel? You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, we gotta find somebody that's. It's not about what we're giving it, it's how we make feel. Exactly. Exactly. If y'all ain't hear that, he said, a lot of times it's not what um, you're used by, but it's how people are making them feel. And that's facts. And so, even when it comes to music, let's, let's bring it circle. I love bringing things circle. <laughs> even when it comes to music, it's about how you make them feel. Yeah. So whenever you you yelling on the beat, whatever, whatever, it's about how they make it, how that song makes them feel. And it's like, damn, like, that shit really get me hype. You feel me? Like, yeah. I fuck with that shit. You feel me? Even though I don't condone killing, like, <laughs> niggas might be on <laughs> <laughs> Niggas Nobody might be on that fuck. type of time. <laughs> no, I don't condone killing. I'm feeling like a murderer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Is, are you, that shit is true, though. Hell yeah. I listen to your song. I be feeling like I would have killed some shit, <laughs> <laughs> but like not a person. You know yeah, what I'm not a person, of course. Like just go hunting or something. Yeah, like, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean the shit. animal people are gonna kill you for that, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but nah, uh, but no, nah, you right to us how it makes you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, people are gonna relate to how it makes you feel. You feel me? Yeah. And they're yeah. gonna be drawn to you. That's so true. If you're consistently making somebody laugh. They're gonna be like, yo, I fuck with that nigga. I fuck with her. You feel me? Not even on no, like, yo, I don't know any other, like, type of other shit, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. But just, like, I like that person being around just because they bring a good vibration. Uh -huh. You feel me? A genuine, a genuine connection. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we fucking need nowadays. We need genuine connections. Yeah. Authentic interactions. Yes. Authentic interactions. Yes. Interactions. You can't get an authentic interaction through social media. I'm sorry. I'm going to die on that hill. But, like, being face to face with somebody, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying different. to tell them, bro. It's always best in person because it's it just seems I don't know, better. Yeah, exactly. Like RPC. So yeah. my bad. You was about to take a sip of your <laughs> drink, man. <laughs> but like you know, we we DM'd and everything like that. Yeah. And like that's cool and all, but we would not be able to have like an authentic interaction. If not for this interview You get what I'm saying Yeah And I genuinely feel like I know you a lot better Than from a DM Oh yeah You could have said Everything that you said In this interview In a DM And I would have like Felt it You get what I'm saying Yeah But it wouldn't have been As impactful Right I wouldn't have really Implanted that in my brain And been like Okay cool Like this is who this man is You get what I'm saying Yeah Because like It's just words That you're reading It's almost like a book you feel me? Oh, yeah. You're just reading people's books and shit all day. Honestly, I can't tell you what the fuck I read five years ago. <laughs> Hell. I can't. <laughs> but I can tell you who I knew five years ago. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I consistently had interactions with them. I had experience with them and shit like that. Like, that's why I said humans are social creatures. Yeah. If we're if we're social creatures and we need to be around each other and stuff like that, why the fuck do we have social media is so prevalent? Right. I don't know, man. It's, I think it's hard to get everybody on the same page. That's it definitely is. is. There's so many different pages because of the internet. Exactly. So exactly. it's hard to get everyone on the same page. Like, literally. Yeah. Even if you had the best thing that you wanted to tell humanity and it was going to save us all, somebody's going to be on TikTok. Facts. Somebody else is going to be on Facebook. So, and they're not going to get the message. Facts. Social media plays a very important role with keeping us connected. I will never, like, go against that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. there's a lot of people, there's a lot of information, rather, that I would not have known if not for TikTok. Like, my algorithm is now completely, like, informational shit just because that's the type of nigga that I am. But I've learned how to grow things. I've learned how to forage. I've learned how things of, like, music and, and spirituality and frequencies and inventions and all this other shit that I would not have known because, you know, our education system don't teach us shit. But anyway, so a lot of shit that I wouldn't have known if somebody else wasn't there to tell it. But still, though, we have to move from individuality that's conditional mm -hmm. we over here talking about nascar <laughs> um shout out to the people who over here be watching nascar <laughs> 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 do y'all watch like what sports do y'all watch i don't watch any sports to me watching sports is boring i gotta play that shit really yeah hell yeah did like, you play anything uh i played football i played baseball did soccer for a little bit um i wanted to do roller hockey because I'm, I'm not, I don't really fuck with the ice skating. Yeah, hell yeah. Roller hockey. What is that? It's on basically, skates. yeah, basically the same thing as hockey, but on roller blades. Yeah. I never heard of that. Yeah. For real, yeah. you never seen it. It got like a ball. They use like a ball instead of a, a, a puck. Nah. Yeah. Never seen that. Bro, you know what I always wanted to do? You ever seen that like when they're on skates and they're going in that circle? And they like roller trying. derby. Yeah, I went roller <laughs> derby. I've always wanted to do that shit. Yo, that's really. Insane. Yeah, that shit seems fun as hell. But like you're just going around. I think skates. all you got is knee pads and elbow pads, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just yeah. go around skates, just pushing people. Over. I about to say like <laughs> I seen that on like a uh, what's it called like, on like a show, you know, because they'll have like the parodies of yeah. it and shit like that. Yeah. yeah, man. But imagine getting hit in the face with some skates. <laughs> skates is crazy. <laughs> Like I maybe seen, you probably breaking something. I, I, what's the object of roller derby to get around the thing? I really don't know. Before it's, it's a race. A race? Yeah. Mm. But it seems like the other team be trying to get your ass for some reason. I don't know. I don't know the premise of the game. I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of games. I don't know the premise. You ever of the like game look either. at a sport? You be like, what is it? Like cricket? When I first saw it, <laughs> oh. I was like, what the hell even is? Cricket? Is this baseball? And then it is. I've heard of it. <laughs> what do you do? Like, is cricket kinda, baseball? It like kind of is with horses, so right, or is that polo? That's but you use a paddle. Polo. Don't you, don't you use polo. like a paddle? Yeah, use a paddle and they hit it like upside down, like this. What, what the fuck? That's cricket. Yes, I thought know. cricket was the one with the. Uh, no, it's the ball. They like they throw it like this. Cricket. They played a lot in India. I thought that was when they had like the little the little. Oh, what is it? It's like they got the little horseshoe things, but it's upside down. It's in the it's in the ground, and they knock the ball through the things. You get know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm talking about? Horses. Yeah, Polo, you, right? And they're on the horses? Nah, nah, nah. They're not on the horses. They don't. Yeah, it's like it's like a ball, and then they had like a little mallet or whatever, and yeah. then they hit the ball through the yeah through the through the rings or whatever. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's, that's croquet, I think. Yeah, croquet. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. There I don't we know go. What the hell that Smart ass nigga. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Damn, yeah. I don't know. What I seen it on regular show. That's how I remember. Yeah, <laughs> bro, shout out fucking regular show. That was in my mind. Shout out For regular real? show, man. That was man. my favorite show. Man, I swear, Cartoon Network don't make the same uh, shows like they used oh, to. Everything is ass now. Disney Channel, fucking everything Nickelodeon, Cartoon. I don't even think Cartoon Network is there anymore. I see. I heard um, from this person who who I think it was like a director or something, but that, that quit, right? Yeah. I heard there's only one person working the entire day of Cartoon Network. What the fuck? Yeah. But like, like they. Like the designing shit. Last, the last nigga hired or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone quit except me. I'm the last cartoon. <laughs> I'm 80 years old and I still make all the cartoons. No, nah, for real. Like, um, because I think they're under new management. Yeah. Bro, that's what it is, bro. They changed the Fucking name of some Fox? channel. I, uh -huh. I forget what channel. Disney they bought Fox. Warner Bros or some shit. 
I think that's what they changed it to. Really? Or some shit. I don't know. They changed the name to something. God damn. See, this is what I'm saying, though. They stay changing shit and then not making anything original. Right. Like, if you're going to change something, okay, cool. Make something original. Let me see what the people that you hired are coming up with. Man, that's true. Tell me, why is they? Why do they keep remaking the same movies? I opinion, mean, respect, respect to uh, Halle Bailey. Halle Bailey, I think. Respect to her. But why'd they make another Little Mermaid? <laughs> I don't know. In my opinion, and I haven't seen it, I probably will see it. And I'm sure it's a great movie. And, you know, all support to her and her family and her accolades and everything like that. But it's like to the directors, you can't make something new. Why do we have to turn from, okay, cool, we already made a Little Mermaid. Now let's make it CGI. Yeah. Like, what the, like, let's make this realistic. Like, I don't get it. Like, they did the Lion King over with real animals. Yeah. And it was like a little creepy. You're like, yeah. Fuck. Like, I still haven't <laughs> seen that movie. No, no, I have a new Lion King. Yeah, with the I, real animals. I didn't even want to see it. I saw the trailer, but yeah, I didn't yeah. want to see it. Just because it's like, bro, like, this isn't anything new. This is the same plot. I already know what's going to happen. Like, bro, what the fuck? Same, <laughs> yeah, same thing with the horror movies. Right. Talk about some last Halloween. That's not going to be the last one, bro. It's not. They're going to redo it again and again. They're going to redo they, Scream they again. There's another play. Scream. Yeah, out. I heard that. I've seen the trailer. Yeah, that movie was decent. I've just seen that. They're going to keep doing decent. Chucky you over. Scream? Yeah. Okay. You saw the that, new Chucky? That new no, Michael Myers movie Chucky. was ass. You said what? That new Michael Myers movie was ass. Ha- Halloween. Kills. Halloween. Or yeah, Hall- Halloween ends. The last one that just came yeah, out. Halloween uh, ends. I didn't yeah. watch Halloween ends. That's it. How do you, like... Michael Myers got his mask taken away. How does that even happen? <laughs> like, how does that even happen? <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, I'm ready for somebody to just make something new. And even then, like, I feel like people are making stuff new on Tubi. I'm not watching Tubi. I'm no, not. It sounds cheap. weird. It's a, yeah. It seems cheap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, bro, like, this is really seeming like some amateur type shit, which is cool. Do your thing. But at the same time, like, why can't we have professionals do something new? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? They keep redoing the same stuff or just take a book and make a fucking movie out of it. Yeah. No, but some of those be like that, though. The movies that uh, came from the books. Yeah. Like, Percy Jackson. That was a good, I that was good Percy ass. Jackson. It just, it, it but just, the second one was ass. I'm not going to lie. That's, that second one. Mm-hmm. I was a it seemed like yeah. we need a new yeah. slasher. That's what we need. It, bruh, I don't even want to hear it, bro. Brad said they can't find good actors. I don't want to hear it because there's <laughs> too many. <laughs> there are yeah. too many people who are aspiring actors. Too many people who are like, yo, like, you know, I do acting as a side gig. Like, bruh. Right. So there's all this talent. That's uh, that's an issue with the people who are selecting the people. That's Not an issue with the amount of people there to be an actor. You get what I'm saying? We're because, like, selected. you have the talent. Yeah. It says y'all are just ass at picking it. Right. <laughs> like, or they want to pick the popular people. Or you want to pick the popular people. At yeah. that point, I'm, I'm like, I can't really get into this movie because I've seen this woman being, like, she's in this horror movie now, mm-hmm. but she was just in a comedy the last time I saw her. Right. right. I'm still got... Like I'm you can't still, take them seriously. Yeah, I'm still referencing you as the comedy person. Like if Marlon Wayans tried to play a serious role. See, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's not gonna work. You got people who are bad guys, literally for their career, and right. then you gonna try to make a comedy. Like if you was to put him they on used screen, to try to do that shit. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They be doing that with the Rock though. They do, okay. bro. They just be putting the Rock in like pepper. Like yeah. I don't. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what this movie needs? The Rock. The and then they exactly. Put that in. The Adam. Oh, Black, Black Adam. Adam. Black Adam. Black Adam. The Rock Adam. wasn't Black Adam. I did watch it. No, I watched half of it. And <laughs> I watched half of it. <laughs> I didn't watch it. I didn't even watch it. It's shit. pretty good. He's yeah, it was good. I was at my okay, I was at my um at my boy's place and I was just in Charlotte for like the weekend or something like that. It was my birthday shit. And so like he had he had like a nice little TV or whatever, whatever. So I was like, alright, cool. And my ass was bored, so I was like, let me find something to watch. And I saw Black Adam, I was like, alright, cool. Nigga had HBO Max and shit. Yeah. Like, alright, cool, you know, let me watch it. And I ended up having to go to Chick Fil A, and I never, I never started it again. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up having to go to Chick Fil A. But they call you in or something like nah, that. Nah, nah, I just was like, hungry. We, like, got a, <laughs> we got a number two for you. If you come right now, 
Yeah, but I can't enjoy a movie. I can't enjoy a movie if I'm hungry. I feel right. the same way. Like I can't eat anything without watching. Hell yeah! You ever try yeah. to go to the movies and be like, no, I don't need no popcorn? And yeah. you sit down, you be like, fuck yeah. that shit. I'm about to go up there. And right. I, I never addicting. get popcorn in the movies. <laughs> you be making a okay. So my brother said he be making a meal before he go and watch a movie. Okay, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. I'll go. I'll have a meal cooked and shit before I watch the show. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know how in depth I'm gonna get, but I want this show to be as enjoyable as possible. And so if I'm happy, then I'm more influenced to like this show. That's true. Now if I'm eating some ass food. And then it's a good show. I'm like, bro, I don't even fucking want to watch this shit. Like, because <laughs> I'm I'm focused on my food being ass. Like, <laughs> yeah, like like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I personally feel. It's like the wrong candy at the movie theater. You said the wrong candy at the movie theater. Shoot, I bring my own candy in the movie yeah, theater for real. This is like, okay. What do you be eating at the movie theater? Shoot, I go to Dollar Tree, get me some Swedish fish, Sour Patch Kids. Swedish fish? Yeah, that's a controversial take, bro. That's, that Swedish fish are good. Swedish fish are good. I hate Swedish fish. What? what? Yeah, bro. How the hell? Yeah, that's an old head candy, bro. That's what I'm saying. That is not and an old Sour head Punch. Candy. I fuck with Sour Punch too. Sour Punch Kids? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. And then the sour patch kids, I'll bring bro. my own drinks. And sour punch kids. Yeah, sour patch kids. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but like I, I don't know. I can't get into Swedish fish, bro. Like I don't know. It's Plus, just like, it's like a Mike these little Ike. fish things. You know what I'm saying? Mike and Ike's are all right. It's Mike like and Ike's. Ike. I haven't eaten candy in a while. I don't. I don't even remember it. Are those like hard? Those the hard oh, candy? Chewy. Oh, the chewy. Sometimes Mike they could be hard. Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> they are, that's true. It's a crispy gummy. A crispy gummy. It is. That's yeah, what they I'm come in that green is. box. See, hey, how the fuck it. they be making these shits? It's crispy a gummies? It's what the American. fuck is that? Right. Right, like, bro. Or like it's glazed or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, like, bro. Like, glazed I, gummies. Damn, bro. America do be on some bullshit, though. That's what I'm saying. Who the we'll fuck be comes like, up with this shit? Bro, they got Reese's Pub. And Reese's peanut butter cups now. I wouldn't even try this. That shit no. smacks though. Oh. No, it I'm does. not. You would try this. Like, shit. Yes, I you would. You would try this. Shit's shit. good. Would but you, I'm not you. The food coming to life. Like you know what I'm talking about. Food coming to life. Sausage party. Sausage party. I'm not seeing that on Instagram. I'm not gonna lie. But I do remember Sausage Party. Have you seen Sausage Party? Yes. Sausage Party was a crazy ass movie, and I fucking love it. I got that shit on DVD, bro. Bro. You got it on DVD. I'm you officially an old head. Bro, it was you weren't an old head when you said you were 24, but you're an old head now. <laughs> bro. Bro. It was awkward as hell when I you went to see Sasha's some... party because I went with my mom and my sister to see that shit. I didn't know it was going to be that bad. Oh, yeah. And the end credit scene, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When everybody was just fucking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it not was something like, you want to oh, see with your mother. That shit was funny as hell, though. Oh. That shit was... No. That's I'm not laughing while my sister and my mom sitting there watching these, these food... I was. Items. Oh, I was. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Oh my gosh, man. That's fucking hilarious. That shit was low key awkward, dude. I mean, I bet. But see, look, though. Sauce's Party was original. Yeah. Everybody fucked with it. Why has there not been anything along the lines of that? I don't need a Sauce's Party, too. But, like, why has there hasn't been anything with the same animation, with the same type of parody theme, anything along those lines? Yeah. It's like niggas just got to reminisce about Sauce's Party. Duh. Like, <laughs> Nowadays, the world is fucking. That is gonna be on such a party too. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. We're gonna influence that shit. It's extremely yeah, like right. sensitive though. We can't do that stuff anymore. Just like it's Incredibles you know, the 2. Backlash. You said yeah. Incredibles 2? Incredibles 2 was trash. In my opinion. I don't remember Incredibles 2. It was a, bit, it was a long time. Didn't yeah. they make a 3? Uh, I don't even remember. Or was. Did, okay, was the 2 the new one? Yeah. Okay, I did watch it. Eh, I yeah, I didn't really fuck with it. It was trash. But see, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, niggas be making sequels and prequels. Just make a new shit. That's true. Just make something new. Would I'll you all watch? Wa- would you all watch uh, White Chicks too? No, <laughs> I don't want to see them. Oh, who are they, who are they getting to be the White Chicks? Shoot, maybe the same people. Hell nah. <laughs> that's not even gonna fly no more. You got this old ass man trying to act <laughs> like. This is a really a, 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 a white girl in college? Right. Fuck no, man. No, they would have to 
if they did do white girls, it would be like a college. Or I feel like that's how they. Would yeah, do. of course. It would be like two like rich college girls. Because you know, college is wilding now. I don't know who it would be though. To I don't be the characters. I don't either. Michael B. Jordan. Maybe nah. Michael B. Jordan. Nah, it would have to be like like a funny person. That a nigga's funny not person? funny. He does play DC serious, Young bro. Fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Him bro. being a white girl, bro. Him or uh, fuck, bro. Who could it be? Shit. Yeah, DC Young Fly is funny as hell. He could be a. I don't know. Who bro. the other one be? For those who don't know who DC Young Fly is, look that man up. He's actually he's like a comedian, ain't he? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. it would be funny for him to play like that character, but it wouldn't fly nowadays. Nah. But, bruh, there's too many, like, barriers now, bruh. Yeah, there's too many barriers. For anything. Yeah, you definitely get canceled for anything, man. Because then people going to be wanting to make up black girls, and then I'm going to be upset. Ooh. I'm going to be a little see, bad. That's equality. <laughs> that's equality. It is, but it's not, yo. <laughs> you got me fucked up. Bro, what would that even be like? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The stigma would be kind of crazy. Yeah. The stigma would they be crazy. They go get fried chicken and shit. Like. Bruh, nah. Girl, nah, that's... niggas would be up in arms. I would not like that. Girls and bitches getting their hair done and shit. Hell like nah. Right. Hell nah. You'll be like, oh, hell no, nah, bro. Exactly. I couldn't do it. But I mean, they did wild out back in the day. Have yeah. you seen. Um, Tropic ooh. Thunder? No, no, Robert no. Robert Downey Jr. as uh, a black dude. What is that called? The man said, we. Fear Factor. Yeah. Fear Factor oh, back I've in seen, the day. I've seen some of those. Yes. Bro, back in 2009. They were saying some off the wall shit. I can't even repeat it on here. They can't <laughs> like. <laughs> it was freaking crazy, man. I would never go on Fear Factor, bro. Really? Oh, no. There's this aspect of like, I, I noticed we on camera and all that shit, but I'm gonna have a real reaction. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, do you not have a real reaction right now? That's what I do, but I'm saying. Don't come out to oh we about to eat bull testicles, <laughs> like no we're not you know that's what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell no, nah. that's what I'm saying. Like they they want you to be oh, all damn, crawl nice. through crawl through a cave of spiders or some yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, Sit in this pit of snakes for three minutes. Fuck yeah, that shit. The timer spiders. starts now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like hell no, bro. I'm not fucking doing that shit. You not gonna do it, bro? No, no. bro. They'll give you a million dollars. Well, if actually, I win, and that's the thing. Man. Most of them shows give you a million dollars over the course of like. 10 years That's facts Me, yeah, I would do it If I wasn't racing Against somebody If you weren't racing? Yeah if I wasn't racing Against somebody I would do that shit Okay Like just to see If you could finish Yeah Okay okay If okay. it wasn't I a competition you. I got you okay. I can I fuck it. with that So it's just yeah. like um, How brave are you? Yeah. How brave are you? That's a whole new show There you go y'all Instead of Fear Factor How brave are you? That's, <laughs> that could be a show Where you just do Fucking courageous shit Exactly Right, right. Exactly what would it It's like It'll be like how, Are you smarter than a fifth grader But for scary people Ooh You know what I'm saying Ooh Like People like, who are naturally afraid of shit Of shit And try to get over their fear Yeah Are you See? afraid of snakes and Come then it'd be some girl that's oh, really yeah, afraid of snake. And it'd be Come funny for on. us because, like, ain't no way she this afraid. Yeah. Exactly. And the, show, the whole premise of that episode of the show is for her to get better with her and she yeah. ends up touching a snake at the end of the show bruh come on see look 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 it shouldn't be where three four niggas on a fucking terrace on an apartment terrace yeah. came up with a whole new show <laughs> with a whole new premise and y'all can't do shit but do reruns I don't like it <laughs> how brave are you for real or how brave just how brave how brave how brave ooh come on and then I can see I can see the intro it'd be like like a bear scratching the fucking brave shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit logo brave. intro. How brave this? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then it's like next episode. Next episode. Exactly. How brave. Exactly. 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 Come on, man. Tonight we need to on get Fox, us 10 p.m. <laughs> how brave? And the shit. You know the shit come up at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> how brave? <sighs> bro, we, we need to it. come on now, man. Come on, we need to copyright that shit. For copyright real. that shit. There yeah, we go. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna be on the first episode of? Hell yeah, I'll be on the first episode. What are you scared of, bro? Snakes. Snakes? That's literally, I hate snakes. They gotta be a snake handler in. What's up with snakes? What's wrong with snakes? Like, they just, like, I'm, I have a fear of them, like, getting a hold of me and, like, wrapping around my neck or some shit. Uh, and, like, I just don't want to be bit by one. You know, I can understand it. I can understand it. It's like people with spiders. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather be around a spider than a snake. Really? Yeah. But I seen uh, on Twitter there was a snake 
and it ate a whole crocodile whole, bro. Whole, man. That's fucking crazy. See, <laughs> like, but that's how they have to eat too. They don't chew nothing up. Nah. So it gotta be whole. Yeah, and it's so it like gets so. digested in its stomach acid. Bro, I couldn't. So? One thing about nature, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they don't care at they all. They don't bro. care. It's like, facts. A shark will bite you to see if you're edible. They don't got no hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you just go get fucked up because he was curious. It's facts. You know what I'm saying? It's facts. A Sharks bear, are big as shit, too. A bear, if it's winter, it's over. Well, aren't they supposed to be hibernating? But see, that's the thing. Would they? You're right. <laughs> Niggas are supposed but to sleep. What are you doing walking around? <laughs> bears, though, if there's enough berries, they're not going to fuck with you. You know, oh, yeah, they'll oh, rather yeah. forage and get their fucking... Why waste the energy to try to kill you if really? there's a pasture of strawberries? <laughs> really? Or I could just eat with my children. The bears actually eat better berries, though. Yeah. yeah they, they do? They're herbivores and all that shit like ours. But they eat. They eat meat, meat though. too. Uh, they, they eat salmon and all that shit. But okay. There's plentiful fucking... Aries and all that shit. I'm Why sorry. I... If a bear, big ass fucking bear, yeah. is eating a pasture of strawberries, and people are saying that you can't be fooled from veganism, <laughs> I wouldn't choose. I wouldn't choose a salad over a burger. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I can choose, see it. I wouldn't choose a salad over a burger. But so. the the argument though for people was that you can't be fooled off of just straight plants. But you got this. What, 500 pound bear yeah. eating strawberries mm-hmm. with his cups? <laughs> the whole family's full. That's what I'm saying. But like, <laughs> let, it be, let it be scarce out this bitch. Oh, yeah, for sure. This nigga's running. You, you might get eaten. Hey, <laughs> quick, like. <laughs> for real. You know, they run, was it like 40 miles per hour? I could, That's scary as hell. Uh, I yeah. can't imagine getting chased by a damn bear. No, me neither. Like, what are you going to do? Nothing. <laughs> If you fall, it's over. And you can't climb. They know how to climb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They well, no, only trees. certain bears can climb. They still gonna try, though. <laughs> they definitely gonna try. They definitely gonna, they gonna try. They gonna try, bro. Your ass gonna be done for Nigga, Mike crazy. camp out there. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna be stuck in a tree your whole life. Exactly. That bear got more reserves, like fat reserves, than you do. Right. Most definitely. And they're strong as hell, too. Hell yeah. It's the power bro. aspect. That's the thing about bears. Like, bro, getting mauled to death. They call it mauled because saying getting beat up by a bear is probably like that's some pussy shit. It's like damn, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But getting mauled, bro, that's basically what it is. That's facts. Them beating your ass <laughs> to death, <laughs> and they don't have, they don't make no <laughs> fists. It's straight slaps and, and, and fucking claws that's across your whole chest facts. for minutes. And one he thing said about they don't bear, make no fists. One thing about bears, they start eating you immediately. They don't wait for you to die. Yeah. What? Like, the reason why, like, cats and all that shit, like, big cats go for your throat and all that shit, because yeah. they want you to die first before they eat you. And then they they do that, do it like that. But bears, bears are just fucking... Bears eat you alive? Stomp oh, on nah. you. Rip your shit off. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, you're yeah, done for. Never had it, I swear. I'm sorry. First of all, you made a newfound respect for bears. Bro. I'm not going to say fear because... The niggas are ruthless. I'm stupid and if I'm about around this. a bear. Think about this. We, we, we thinking about a bear that's in the forest. Polar bears, there is no forest. Oh, yeah, facts. There is no greenery. There is no shrubs to forage off of. Facts. It's straight seals and meat. That's facts. It's different around there, bro. So... Niggas is in their trenches You're out real. there, vulnerable, it's over for you. They do say if you see a polar bear, just run. Just run? Yeah. Just you run. You about to slip and slide. Yeah, oh, for say, sure. There's too but much that's ice it. Like if that po- if you see the polar bear, the polar bear's already been seeing you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's over. Like, <laughs> that's true as fuck, bro. If you notice the edible, he exactly. probably already noticed you. Exactly. Damn. Exactly. Like we when we're talking about like top predators. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, if it's a deer, okay, cool. You can stalk a deer. Deers really don't be noticing shit to be real soon, unless you like making a whole bunch of noise. Yeah. A bear, this nigga is on high alert 24-7. And the sense of smell is exactly. crazy. Exactly. We kind of regress as animals. Hey, Low key. Who would win the fight, a bear or a gorilla? Definitely a fucking gorilla. You think a gorilla? I would think a bear. I ain't gonna cap. All right. Hey, I know, but the claws. Balls, this nigga, I mean, this nigga, you know, you know he making fists for sure. He making fists. He like, you know, beating you and shit. Bro, bro, you, bro. 
Bro, the grill is gonna throw throw its whole body at you and start beating. It. <laughs> but the bear is gonna open its mouth and take a chunk out of the gorilla. The, it's a bear. Yeah, yeah. You get us. Uh, that's true. Do the same shit. Ooh, All right. right, so that's true. But gorillas don't have that power aspect that a bear has. Bro. You're right. That's what I was thinking. The, same the bear, the bear, bro. Really, what it comes down to with this is stamina. Facts. Yeah. Because they're both big animals. Facts. And shit like that be getting tired fast. Facts. The reason why cheetahs are fucking, you know, fast, because that burst of energy just, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. It don't last just for long, you but up. these bears and these gorillas, they would have to fight for a long time. I feel like a bear would win power aspect, but a gorilla would win tactile. Like, yeah. gorilla could use a tool. They're smart well, enough to, not like, use tools, though. To pick up a log and beat your ass? Yeah, I've would. never seen a gorilla pick you up never a seen. log. Watch you some gorilla <laughs> You gotta yeah, watch you know, some gorilla Maybe I need to watch a gorilla fight. They're gonna use their hands and feet. Yeah. Because they got and opposable they, thumbs. They're smart enough to But also, tools. like, don't, can't, can a bear, a bear has its teeth, a bear also has its claws. So while the gorilla is, like, trying to smack it for sure, and, you know, that's a lot of, that's a lot of weight on it. I'm not gonna negate that. Yeah. But the bear is doing the same thing, but they got weapons. That's true. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take somebody with a weapon over somebody but, who doesn't have a weapon every day. Like, <laughs> like, and they both could go by Peter. They both be standing up. Yeah, exactly. They both be like trying to stand exactly. up. Exactly. So who got a weapon? If you come over here and you're trying to beat my ass, and I pull out a knife, even though you, but even they though they both got canines though, they do. And the gorillas might be bigger. <laughs> they do. They do. They do. They do. But the bear still got the paws. The claws. That yeah, you're getting beat up. You get know what I'm saying? Every smack. Going it's gonna rip some flesh out. Yeah. You're gonna get tired more just from blood loss. They got shag hair. Yeah. Shag hair. It's like big, bro. Nigga got armor. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's We've hard. regressed so much as animals, bro. And I say animals just because, like, psychologists at heart. So, like, I understand that we're all mammals and shit. We just move different. Yeah. And we took over everything. But, like, we've regressed so far because these niggas, we really are, like, we had to make weapons in order to protect ourselves because these niggas are so elite. This nigga's walking around with a sheet of armor. Like, Hell yeah. calmly. They're like, <laughs> had the that's facts. And that's the only way we can compete. But I'm sorry, you can do all the weightlifting you want. You're not beating a gorilla. Is that a crane? It a is. crane. That is a crane. That's not, I thought, I was like, that's a different type of bird. That's a crane. That's just some damn. I from, feel like that's good luck, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, so a crane, and I'm going to take that as a good luck sign. So if Hell you're yeah. listening to this, hopefully that good luck goes over to you too as his crane floats away into the distance. Anyways, yeah. Great talk about bears versus gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, the worst shit is in the ocean, though. I don't care about it. And the ocean is 80% unexplored, man. And that's what our planet mostly is. Ocean, exactly. yeah, for sure, water. So, we don't know shit. Atlantis could be down there. Y'all think mermaids are real? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like mermaids are like the little mermaid. Yeah, I was gonna I say, like I don't think they look are like... like yeah. I feel like they're more scary. Yeah, bro, they definitely like taking niggas down, chomping you off. Like seducing you type shit You know what I'm saying yeah. There's too many In my opinion There are too many tales Of people back in the day Of being seduced by whatever And being eaten I'm sorry They used to say that they were like uh, I forgot what the animal was But there was like these oh, Manatee these Manatees They were trying to say that Mermaids were manatees back then And like the wet Like people couldn't distinguish Nigga Who's getting seduced by a fucking manatee bro <laughs> You're hey, weird, know, bro. bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was like, I don't know. Back then, people was they didn't have Google. <laughs> he said they didn't have Google. He might get a little turned on by a man in chief. But nah, but like, you know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Y'all are all describing a woman. You know what I'm saying? At I, least some I, titties. Personally, I have no reason to believe in mermaids. Personally. Yeah. But I do believe there is some crazy shit in the ocean. For sure. Because one thing about the ocean things can grow bigger there facts because of space facts that's why the biggest things ever to exist it came in the, the ocean. ocean yeah the oh, blue yeah. whale that's the biggest thing we have to date yeah and it's in the ocean yeah but there's things i believe that eat those things and i think there's just scarcity out there just mm. like with anything else mm. and i mean there's animal turtles live to be 100 years old 
Over. Faithfully. Yeah. How the hell does a turtle need to be that old? Because they're like... They're genes. They, they survived the same thing the uh, crocodiles did. Extinction. Oh, shit. Facts. Yeah, Facts. The, the dinosaurs and all that shit. They survived because... Water type animals are able to be dormant and all that stuff. That's Plus, they have shells and all that stuff. See, I feel like you're more likely to find in a prehistoric animal in the ocean yeah. than on land. Yeah. Just because everything on land had to regress. And they had to, like, the different types of conditions. Imagine everything being burnt up. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah. But There's see, no that's how climate change, though, is working right now. Uh -huh. Because even though climate change is affecting people on the land, yeah. it's also affecting the ocean because the ocean is getting warmer. Do you the feel me? The ocean is getting warmer. So it's like, okay, cool, the people, I mean, the people, the animals that were there and they were accustomed to the ocean being at a cool 50 degrees, Yeah. now niggas is moving at a 70. And the people, like the, I keep saying people, the animals who were used to that are dying because they're like, yo, you either adjust or you die. Right, yeah. Question was, do you feel like the world is a living being? Basically, yeah. Do you feel like the world is a living being? I believe so. I believe the planet is alive. Everything else out there doesn't seem to be. So I think... What do you mean another, everything else out there? Like, from what we could tell, the third rock from the sun, Earth, is the only place that we know contains life. Right? Mm. From what we can perceive, at least. Mm. I'm going to call and cap on that, but yeah. You don't think so? Wait, <laughs> call cap on that. What, what RPG, how you feel? Before I even talk, how you feel? Shoot. Wait, what did you say? I said, this nigga wasn't even paying attention. From, no. from our perspective, what we believe is that... Earth, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure there's more life out there. I believe that too, but I'm saying from our perspective as we know now. Okay, okay. That's okay. what we believe. As the public knows. I'm, I'm going to put that, I'm gonna put that in. As the public knows. Yeah, as the public knows. That's what we can't see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I believe know there's a lot of shit being hidden. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of shit being hidden. Hey, honestly, you can't tell me that they do not have an alien or something along those lines. Yeah, some type of ship. Something. I think we have alien aircraft. I don't think, I don't think that they're aliens. This man said germs are aliens. You know how we send probes elsewhere? Yeah. I think they've done that to us. They definitely send probes. Yeah, I think that's more the case of what UFOs are than actual aliens. So if you you're so advanced, uh, there's no reason for you to come here. It's just like us sending a drone to drop a bomb. Okay. Have the technology to do that shit now. Okay. Why the fuck would I go over there and risk my life <laughs> with them dirty ass humans? <laughs> they got disease and all that shit. Corona just happened. You know what I'm saying? That's I'm not going down there by myself. Uh, that shit. If I was an alien, yeah. that would be me. I'm not going. You know what? I can I can see that. I can see. I mean, that that's reason. just a smart thinking. Yeah, like, I can see that. Why reason. the fuck would I send me myself and my family on a road trip to Earth and? Corona just happened. Like, fuck Facts. that shit. Disney, Disneyland closed. This People year. shooting everywhere. In the galaxy. You feel me? Yeah. Facts. You Disneyland. said Disney World's closed. Earth is Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if, if I was an alien race and I looked at Earth, first of all, we get, you, you say your podcast is called Chatted now, right? Yeah, Chatted. Chatted, y'all. all humans do. Talk? Is create noise. That's facts. Radio waves just get sent out all day, every day. That's facts. And we just make a whole bunch of noise. I'm pretty sure they picked up on something. They're probably like experiencing a 1918 World Series right now in a distant galaxy somewhere, picking it up on the radio. Because mm. how radio waves work and how they travel. You know what mm. I'm saying? And it just, mm. it takes a long time. That's actually different. You know, if the, you know, if the sun disappeared right now, we wouldn't know for eight minutes because of how light travels. Facts. It takes that long for it to get to us. Same thing, like, with the, the signals to the satellites and all that stuff. There's a finite time period how things work yeah so the radio waves that we've been emitting since the radio has been invented yeah bro there's a lot of chatter out there in the universe wow it's just being sent so i'm pretty sure somebody elsewhere is perceiving us in the past though so like that's how you know time is relative so for everybody listening i'm sure you're probably wondering these niggas can't stay on the fucking topic. But, <laughs> but man, like, I'm glad that we we're able to really kind of uh, talk about the shit that we were talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a really good uh, myriad of different things. You feel me? And that shows, like, how people have different experiences and different things to fucking offer. That's true. You know what I'm saying? We're over here and we talking about 
everything from aliens to to oceans to bears versus gorillas to <laughs> shows and you know making everything etc etc to fucking childhood you know what i'm saying yeah. and that shows like everybody is they have an in-depth personality mm-hmm. you know i think nowadays we kind of run into the problem where like you only see the surface of people you know and it's like you have to judge everybody from that surface but at the same time if you were able to see like their mindset or at least where they've been through or at least have a conversation with them a deeper then understanding. a deeper understanding yeah if people came with trailers, yeah, came with trailers <laughs> damn that's some high shit nigga Wow, I fucking like that. If people came with trailers, that's funny as fuck, bro. Yes, bro. Nah, Instagram, Instagram need to drop that. Yeah, bro, you have a like you could record a trailer for your page, and you, as soon as somebody follow you, it goes. Dun, 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 dun. That will be nice, coming huh? soon. Well, like but we can't access archives. their archives, though. You know what I'm saying? It needs to so, be a trailer, like yeah. That. A seven second trailer to record on yeah. some vibes. Yeah. See? I fucking like that, man. Bro, we we done, done made have a show. Two, I was about to say I was just about to say that. Go ahead. And we done made a fucking Instagram feature. Exactly. We need some bread, bro. We exactly. Like Elon or somebody. We need some fucking bread for that. <laughs> Long as it ain't Illuminati. <laughs> man. How you feel about Illuminati? Shoot, I don't even know what that is for real. I be hearing about that from different like artists and shit, but I don't know. What do you mean uh, from different artists? Like I hear some shit about Cardi B being in Illuminati. What the Illuminati. Fuck? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and the damn Illuminati. <laughs> the Illuminati. Good, good, good. <laughs> uh, Illuminati. Yeah, the yeah, Illuminati. Yeah. yeah. I hear about some shit being about Cardi B and being there. But I don't know. I can't fucking talk. <laughs> but damn anyway yeah i don't even know what it is real like i hear like you just instantly get famous from being in that shit mm. with the government mm. and all that. i don't know yeah man like i think the illuminati is real you think it's real yeah it's the one percent of the one percent how would you describe it it's an elite group of beings aka beings that's why i say that you'll never know who they are and they do it like that. Okay. But I think it's the 1% of the 1%. So whoever you think is the richest, the most affluent or whatever, there's somebody behind them. Okay. But just like with anything, you have to have rules in the world, but those rules are orchestrated by the people who implement them. Okay. And there's the hierarchy is superior. It's just, it's a pyramid scheme. Right? And most of us are down here. Facts, but that one percent of the one percent is who controls everything. So, are you wrong for wanting to be a part of the Illuminati? No. Nah. Okay. Okay. I, I don't think I you're feel like wrong. you can do anything you want to do. Mm. Yes, you can. No. But nah. But if you are a part of the Illuminati, then you're the one making the strength, like pulling the strings. Because if everybody here is on the same playing field, oh. at least in terms of power. But right? just like with anything, I think even within that hierarchy of the Illuminati, uh-huh. like you could be whoever you, they, you said, Cardi B or whatever. Yeah. But like Kevin Hart has talked about something like this. They think like he's been shushing people about it. But the Illuminati is real. Like there's a door that you get through, but then there's a door behind that. Yeah. That you never, ever get access to. It's like being in the room without being... You're in the building, but you're not in the room. Mm. You get what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. You're in the building, but you're not in the room. There's a lot of and people in the building. Is. There's a lot of people in this building. We mm. live in this building. Yeah. Which is the building. Mm. But you'll never get in this room. You'll never be able to access to the basement. <laughs> that's actually kind of hard. I'm fucking... <laughs> no, for real, bro. And yeah. I, that's the 1% behind that 1%. Mm. There's a 1% building. Let's say they all could fit in this. Yeah. They probably could. Yeah. All fit in this. But there's a basement that nobody will ever get access to. And that's 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 keeping the lights on mm. in your building. Mm-hmm. That's keeping mm-hmm. everything running. Gotcha. That's what I'm talking about. That's and a that's great the, analogy. That's the hierarchy. Okay. 
Oh, the government definitely works. The government the has, I, bro. They got partnerships with NASA. They exactly. got partnerships with your school system. Exactly. They got partnerships with everybody, bro. Exactly. The U.S. government shakes hands with anybody that has some money. Anybody who has some power. Yeah, money, power, and influence. Facts. You said what country? Okay, what country runs the Illuminati? I, think I don't think. Do. Yeah, I better say. I think the Illuminati is an accumulation of people in the world. It's like the men in black. Yeah, they all over. The uh, think about it. What other, what other money or EOS, you know what I mean? Money exchange, money, uh, currencies, yeah. Currency. What other currency? You know, the actual, the That's true, but at the same time, though, we wouldn't be. In my opinion, we wouldn't be on the brink of like America not being the world power leader mm -hmm. if the Illuminati was only based in America. Yeah. Because if the Illuminati was only based in America and they had such power as we believe them to have, would, then they would never allow that to happen. It would be a terrorist organization like ISIS. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. But see, that's what I'm saying. If you have alliances, though, then your alliances will be other people in the Illuminati from other countries. You get what I'm saying? So, like, right now, we're honestly heading towards that point in time where America is no longer going to be the leading power. You know? I think it's going to be China. China is definitely coming. That's, that's in my opinion, and, and at least other people's, like, theories and shit, that's, that's going to be the next cycle. They, they create everything. And what I mean by that is like manufacturing. Yeah, everything you see says me. It's China. man. But everything we fucking Vietnam. got is made from China. We live in a yeah. three dimensional construct. So Either says made in China or uh, made in Vietnam. Hell yeah. yeah. The more things that you produce, the more things you can sell. And the way that they have their totality, their, their shit set up, it's like one government. You know what I'm saying? Facts. One. I think they have a dictatorship. I think. Yeah, they do. I believe so. It's so. like, bro. You gotta follow one agenda. Exactly. It's That's not why like, I'm gonna leave America. Bro, I, I also learned this thing, bro. bro. You know we call America like the United States of America, right? Yeah. I was watching this thing. The state of North Carolina is exactly what it means. Meaning that in this region of this part of the earth, you can do things in this state. Meaning, you, know, you see how the word state is said? Mm -hmm. Like the state of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I can do things in this state that I can't do in this state of California, just mm. smoke weed, mm. do this, that, and the other. Mm. And like, our country is so divided and set up that way to keep us divided. It's more division within the system. For sure, because you because, have multiple people in different states. Yeah, in different states. Is, exactly, how yeah, I see how you break it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I live in a different state than you live in, mm -hmm. literally. Yeah. Because I have different rules, different agendas, different school systems. So you're never able to get on one agenda. Yeah, yeah. never. Shit's bullshit. <laughs> that's actually that's I've never thought about it that way. I could pick it up, but I, I never thought about it that way. Different state of mind than me. Yeah, exactly. I have different interactions with my reality because of the different rules, different police departments, mm -hmm. different counties, all that shit. So I mean, whenever you have other people in visiting from different states, yeah. Whenever you have other people visiting from different states and coming to your state, then you're bringing a foreign state of mind. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's also causing division and everything like that. Yeah, crazy. Really crazy, bro. Really crazy. So I mean, low key though. That's why I've always said I felt like there should have been just one country. You get what I'm saying? Oh, like, no, I know we have one country of the U.S., but, like, there shouldn't have been states. Like, it should have been one country. Yeah. Just like all these other countries are one country. Yeah. Like, okay, cool, Italy might be really small in comparison to France, but it's still one country with one governing law, and everybody rules under these particular laws. Right. Not these multiple factions mm -hmm. of things. Because that's, exactly that's almost like the is. Hunger Games, nigga. Mm -hmm. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah, we would be the country to probably do that shit. We would the definitely US be, would have the pick games? somebody from you each state. You think the U.S. would have Hunger yes. Games? Yes. Yes. Bro, we already got different states. It's I'm not going to lie. I want to be in the Hunger Games. You want to be? Bro, I will, I'm I not going to lie to you. I will watch you on TV while I'm in Africa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, if I don't win, I'm going to come in the top four. If I don't win. In the top four? Yeah, I'm going to... 
That's all right. That's right. That's, that's, <laughs> I'm at least top four. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if I win, if I don't win, I'm being at least top four. Yeah, yeah. Would y'all do that shit? No. Why what not? What the fuck, bro? I'm not risking my life for nobody. But then I, again, sometimes the people that run the game be cheating. They be like sending like big ass creatures yeah, and shit. That's facts. That forest of fire that they fucking did. That's yeah, facts. Yeah. And old girl got burnt the fuck up. They had to put that shit in water, bro. That's facts. But that's the same way that like um there was all that shit in where Ohio. Where like that train derailment and shit? Shit. A train derail? Yeah. How do you trains derail, bro? Nigga, exactly. If it's on a set track. It's rocks. What happens is some rocks will be on the, in the middle of the way, right? Think about how fast they go. Uh-huh. Rocks will slip it off track. And they'll end up be going too fast and that shit will just like... Just be too sorry. much way to carry over. That shit will slide off. Man. But that's always thought Regardless, about. Regardless though, a whole bunch of fucking chemicals. Uh-huh. Um, like spilled out and shit. I want to say that's in Ohio. Yeah. But a whole bunch of chemicals spilled out and affected the whole town. Do anybody then, get superpowers? No. <laughs> <laughs> then, then the government came in and instead of trying to clean up the chemicals, they went and burned the chemicals what and the made fuck? the chemicals airborne. So then it affected more people. It was a whole fucking big thing. What the hell? But that's what I'm saying. Like, you likening that, like, you talking about how the the people in the Hunger Games went and sent the big fire, right? And really, the big fire came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then people just got to react to the shit and be like, oh, fuck, like, run. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Like, same thing with the train derailment. This shit really came out of nowhere. Then another train derailment happened a month later. Yeah, that's all. That's, that's fucking suspicious. They need to fucking fix this train system. What's going on? It's, see, it, that's the thing. I like, thought we, did it happen in the same place? I thought place? we been huh? over there. Did it happen in the same place? It ain't happened in the same place. One happened in, I think, Pennsylvania. It's just like, bro, like, like you said, that's suspicious. You think it was one person doing it? I think it was I think it was a um, plan, for sure. Yeah. They be doing that shit, bro. I think a lot of stuff be... We be thinking it's... All random, and I don't think it's random. Right, I like s- COVID. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's called COVID nineteen. That shit happened. They knew about it, in t- and it so happened to become a pandemic in twenty twenty. Facts. Right. But I was sick in January before they even like said that was a thing, and I never got sick afterwards. I was like deathly sick, bro. Like on my floor, like yo, I don't know what the fuck is going on type shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, my parents, that's the first time my parents actually came up to Charlotte for me for some fucking medicine. That's how bad I was. And I was like, yo, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but like, I'm gonna just fight through it. And I'm the type of person that I don't take medicine, right? But that time, I was like, yo, I got to go somewhere. Yeah. And they just, like, they nobody knew what the fuck was wrong with me. And they were like, well, they just kind of prescribed me some antibiotics. And that was it. And I just had to kind of battle that shit myself. And I got through it, like, in a, in a week or something like that. And then I was like, all right, cool, I'm good. But then two months later, COVID is, like, announced. Damn. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, bro, like, first of all, y'all didn't have to do all these vaccine shits. Second of all, y'all had been known about this. Right. But y'all just chose to tell the public now, which is why I said earlier, when you talk about aliens and shit like that, the public doesn't know right now. You get what I'm saying? The government already they, knows that. They changed that. the names and all that shit. Yes, bro. It's not even UFOs no more. It's UAPs. What yes. the fuck is a UAP? Uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon. What See, the fuck? Y'all can, when you have the power to do anything and change history or change the words, change the meanings of things. That means that you're taking something serious. Exactly. And it's not fairy tale anymore. Exactly. Like, like why the fuck? It's like making a task force. You're like, what you making this task force for? They're like, oh. You're not going to spend government money yeah. on something. You're not going to put millions and billions of dollars towards something and it's just make believe. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's fucking stupid. Y'all aren't that stupid. Like, right. <laughs> Regardless, regardless, regardless. I hope y'all had a fucking good time um, listening to us ramble and talk to people, talk talk about things. But uh, it was really good talking to all of y'all, man. For real, for real. For sure, man. Yeah. This shit is a different type of experience. Oh, yeah. It was a different sure. type of experience. Yeah. Uh, for yeah. sure, man. I appreciate it. It's always nice to have different people on and just have a conversation. Yeah. You feel me? Hey, you said this the first episode of Chatted. 
This is the first episode of it being officially chatted. That's crazy. Chatted. Yeah, so That's shout outs y'all, man. Shout outs sure. y'all. For real, for real. So, yeah. so, thank you for coming. Thank everybody for watching, for everybody listening. Um, y'all want to plug y'all stuff in again if y'all want to. Yeah, I'm yeah, Slummy Sue on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, RPG Mar. Um, I want to fucking rocket launch you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, I want a fucking rocket launcher. If y'all didn't hear him before, y'all hear him now. That man wants a rocket launcher. And whenever y'all give him enough money for him to get his rocket launcher, <laughs> he'll be back on. <laughs> you want to plug you in again? Fast, you can hit my IG, B1GBNK. All right, for sure, for sure, man. Uh, but yeah, man, it's your host, Makaru. And thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, once again, follow us on Desardis on all platforms, YouTube, whew, Instagram, TikTok, anything, Desardis. Love y'all. Peace. Chat it. Remember it. <laughs>